Hey guys, how's it going? So, I have been requested to do a video on the optimal new artifact trait path for patch 7.2. So let's get straight into it. This is going to be generally for like single target situations. Obviously, if you're doing more AoE than anything else, like maybe just Mythic Plus or something like that over raids, then you can take a slightly different path where you prioritize your AoE traits more so than your single target traits. So, first off, let's get started. Uh, all this info can be also be found on stormearthandlava.com. Also, Neasam also made a video about it, so I, I guess this, this is just my version of it. Uh, but yeah, so definitely check out his channel too. He does way better stuff than what I do. So, start off, you want to get Power of the Earthen Ring. This is your new trait that you're going to need to unlock. And if you're not sure how to unlock this, it is through a quest line that begins on the broken shore and you need to have all your traits purchased so you need to be 34 you can get the quest without uh having the 35th trait but anyway so after you get the stormkeeper's power which is the 35th trait the first thing you want to get is power of the earthen ring just straight up 10 percent damage and stamina next thing you want to go for is elemental destabilization the ed the erectile dysfunction talent trait thing what you're going to want to do with this is like get as much crit as possible i mean the new weights are out and crit is valued a little heavier than it was before due to this talent so this is a very good talent this is our best talent for single target it's also very strong for aoe as well not quite as strong as you know like electric discharge or something but it's still very strong so this will be the one to go for just as a whole so after that, you want to get Swelling Maelstrom. Increase your maximum Maelstrom and maximum cost of Earthshock by 25. Plain and simple, it, it makes your AoE a little better, because when you chain Lightning, you'll cap on Maelstrom a little less, because you have more of a buffer. So that'll help a little bit, and it's also very good for single target. So after you get that, you do want to get your Gold. Seismic Storm, Earthquake Damage has a 5% chance to cause Seismic Lightning, dealing 430,000 H damage to the target. Uh, this is based on spell power. It's I think it's like 700% of your spell power or something like that. But this is going to be a good trait. It'll make the shoulders slightly better than what they were before. And it's also pretty good on AoE, although I don't really like how it's just, you know, hey, it's just another AoE talent thing that, you know, it's playing to our strength instead of kind of covering our weakness a little bit. So our single target stays a little low while our AoE will jump ahead with this and the elemental destabilization. So this is still a good trait, though. You definitely want to get this next. So after that, <clears throat> you have to put the four points in each of the three point existing traits. Now, the guide on Storm Earth and Lava says you should go Lava Imbued first, which obviously makes sense, especially if you're playing Ascendance, which with the new traits and everything pulls slightly ahead, I believe. Uh, over Ice Fury. So Ice Fury is a, a little worse than it was before relative to the others. So what you're going to want to do first is get Lava Imbued. But Storm Earth and Lava says after Lava Imbued you should get Firestorm. Which I completely disagree with. Uh, until seven point, until like two Mr. Gareth actually launches and you get the set bonuses, Firestorm just seems really weak. I think it was simmed with the set bonuses because everything else is saying this is just like far worse than any of your other single target talents so i would not recommend going firestorm right now maybe i'm wrong maybe it really is better i'm going to get a lot of hate on this video or something but i highly it's highly unlikely to me it doesn't make sense until we have our set bonuses so don't go this second don't just follow the guide because this is in my opinion not going to be better so again like i said get your love imbued first then get molten blast so you're getting your Lava Burst uh, stronger. Then you can go Call the Thunder. Increase the nature damage you deal by 3%. Then I believe you go Earthen Attunement. Increases damage dealt by Earth Shock by 12%. Get an extra 4% on there. Then you can go to Firestorm. Now Firestorm is actually good here after you get, you know, the 4 here. Because it's like one of our worst single target traits, and it's not that great AoE because you don't really use, you know, Flame Shock in AoE situations all that much. 
So after you get Firestorm, then you can go ahead and get Electric Discharge. And Electric Discharge is really good for AoE, obviously. Really good for Lightning Rod as well. After that, you can get the Ground Trembles. It's pretty nice. And then, as the last two, unfortunately, are healing traits. Get Protection of the Elements. Get a little extra healing surge healing done. And then go into Shamanistic Healing. This trait sucks, man. I wish it like healed for more instead of reduce the duration. All it's going to be is can only occur every, once every 24 seconds now. So it's it's pretty shit, honestly. But yep, so that is the <clears throat> artifact guide in terms of where you want to put your next traits in. And I'll do a quick overview again, just real fast. You want to go Power of the Earth and Ring, Elemental Destabilization, Swelling Maelstrom, Seismic Storm, then go back and get Lava Imbued, then Molten Blast, then Call the Thunder, then Earthen Attunement, and then Firestorm, and then Electric Discharge, and then the Ground Trembles, and then follow it up with Protection of the Elements and Shamanistic Healing. And I want to reiterate again, that's mostly for just single target. So for AoE, obviously, if you're prioritizing that, still go for these first four first and then get things like electric discharge and the ground trembles so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video